With the floor plan features in Waitlist Me, it's easy to visualize your tables and manage your sections and staff. In Floor Plan View, you'll see all of your tables arranged however you like. Green tables are open, red tables are occupied. You can also see how long a table has been occupied or if it's been reserved for a particular time. And you can tap on a table to open the action bar where you can see details about the party, update their table status, clear the table when they're done, and more. You can also see your sections marked with colors, dividing lines, or both. You can create custom layouts and change your sections on the fly. Perhaps three sections is enough for a quiet lunch, but you need more for a busy evening. You can see which employee is working each section, and how many groups and how many people they've served today. You can zoom in for a closer look and scroll across your floor plan. You can even see floor plans for other parts of your restaurant. For instance, for your patio or an upstairs meeting room. It's all up to you. To start building your own floor plans, just tap on the round icon to access the table management section. Notice, here in Grid View, you can see that I've already set up some basic tables. Each one has a name, in this case the table number, and a size, the number of people it can seat. And I've divided those tables into sections. If you need any help with tables or sections, please see our video on managing tables. Now, tap the button on the right and switch to Floor Plan View. The first time you visit this page, you'll be prompted to add a room. For instance, your main dining room. Just give your room a name, choose a portrait or landscape orientation for your floor plan, and then tap Add. You can add additional rooms if you like. Then tap Done to save. You can tap on the name of your room at any time to see a different room or to add additional rooms. Now. Tap Edit to start building your floor plan. If you have not yet created your tables, just tap on the gear icon to access the table management settings, where you can manage your tables, sections, layouts, and more. Or if you're ready to proceed, just make sure you've selected the room you want to design. And then tap Add. You can choose an existing table from the list or add a new table at the top. Simply give your new table a name, specify how many people it can seat, and tap Add. You'll be prompted to choose the physical size and the shape for this table. And again, tap Done. Now, just tap where you want your table to go. The table appears on your floor plan along with a set of tools. You can tap and drag to adjust your table's position. Drag the arrows to stretch the table in a single direction. Use the double arrow to stretch your table in both directions at once. Tap the round arrows to rotate your table by 45 degrees at a time. Tap the copy icon and then choose an existing table or set up a new one to make it exactly the same size and shape on your floor plan. Or tap the dots to edit the table's name and size or to delete it entirely. When you're ready, tap anywhere else on the screen to hide these tools. You can add as many tables as you need. If you like, you can also use your floor plan to work with any sections and layouts you've defined for your restaurant. For help setting up sections and layouts, please see our video on managing tables. First, choose a room and a layout, tap Add, and choose Element. You can add a dividing line just tap to give your line a starting point and an ending point. You can drag either of these points to adjust the angle of your line or move the whole line to a new position. And again, tap anywhere else when you're done. Or you can tap Add, choose Element, and then pick Label. Just choose which section this label is for and tap on the screen to choose its position. When your floor plan is complete, Tap Exit, and then save your changes. Once you leave Edit Mode, your section labels are automatically updated to show helpful details. 
By default, the name of the server in each section and how many groups and how many individual customers they've served today. Of course, you can come back to edit mode at any time and update your floor plan. Or you can modify your floor plan for another layout. For instance, to set up this same room for a different shift. Your tables remain where they are, but your lines and labels disappear, so you can set up a different set of sections for that shift. Then you'll be able to change your sections on the fly as you move through your day. Remember, you can tap the gear icon to access the settings pages for your tables, sections, and layouts. For more options, tap Display and then choose Floor Plan. For instance, you can change the size of the text in your section labels and decide what information those labels should include. By default, each label shows any notes for the section, for instance, the name of the server, and the total number of parties and individual customers who've been seated in that section today. But if you like, you can show the current number of open tables and or occupy tables in each section instead. In the same way, you can decide what information should appear directly on your tables. By default, you'll see how long each table has been occupied. You can hide this information or show the name of the section instead. And if you've assigned colors to your tables, you can use these colors to highlight the table name, in this case, the table number, or highlight the name of the section or not. You can also come back to grid view, tap time at the top, and decide how to calculate the totals that will appear on the section labels on your floor plan. Would you like to see how many parties and how many individual customers you've served in each section all day or just during the current shift? Or would you like to see your totals for the past so many hours, from the past one hour to the past 24? Now you're ready to start using your floor plans. At the beginning of each shift, simply choose the appropriate layout to instantly update your sections. Then tap on any section label for a list of all of your sections and your notes on each one. In this case, the name of the server assigned there. Tap Clear All, fill in the servers for the new shift, and then save your changes and you're ready to get to work. And remember, you can tap Open at the bottom to enter split screen mode, where you can see your floor plan and your wait list at once. You can drag the handle to show more or less of the wait list, or tap Close to hide it entirely and only see your floor plan. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit our website at waitlist.me.